Hey guys, and welcome back to Earthy DIY. In today's DIY, we'll be showing you guys how to make a hibiscus African black soap shampoo. So for this recipe, you will need 100 grams of raw African black soap, 5 grams of hibiscus powder, 5 grams of amla, 9 grams of aloe vera gel, 2 grams of xanthan gum, 5 grams of glycerin. Two grams of vitamin E oil, and five grams of olive oil. Firstly, what you will need to do is to use a grater to shred the African black soap. You can also use a knife, but just ensure that it's cut up in small pieces. Please note that the smaller the pieces, the easier it will be to dissolve. Then you will add your amla and hibiscus powder, ensuring to stir in between. Ensure that everything is dissolved and well mixed together. Then, you want to strain the mixture to ensure that all the small pieces are removed because you don't want that to be stuck in your hair. So now we're going to add our oils, both the vitamin E oil and the coconut oil. And the next step is to balance the pH of the shampoo. So please note that this is optional. The pH of African black soap is naturally alkaline. So if it is that you want a more clarifying shampoo, then you can just skip this part because clarifying shampoos normally have a higher pH. So as you can see, we're using pH strips to test the pH of the mixture. And as you can see, it is naturally around 8, which is alkaline as I said before. So if it is that you choose to adjust the pH of your shampoo, you'd have to use something that is acidic. So we are using apple cider vinegar, but you can also use citric acid. So apple cider vinegar is a strong acid. So it's normally at a pH at around 2 or 3. So what you would do is add it slowly to the mixture and check in periodically to test the pH. So we were aiming for a pH at around 5 because the pH of our hair is not, it's naturally acidic. So it's around 4.5 to 5.5 but shampoos are typically between 5 and a 7. So we prefer ours to be at around 5.5. 5. So 
so we ended up only using about a quarter of our original mixture because it would have taken a large a large amount of apple cider vinegar to balance the pH also guys please note that because we're using apple cider vinegar which is a liquid that will add to the volume of our mixture so that will change the consistency and all of that so to avoid this you guys can just use the citric acid powder so as you can see our pH ended up being around 5 so next we're going to thicken the shampoo so we use xanthan gum for this and this is obviously optional as well but because we had used the upside vinegar to balance the pH, the consistency was more watery than we had intended. And shampoos are normally thicker, so we use xanthan gum to achieve this. So for this, you want to add the xanthan gum in small quantities. So it's best to first add the xanthan gum to glycerin and fully dissolve that before adding it to the mixture. So we added the xanthan gum and glycerin mixture to the shampoo, ensuring to mix well to avoid clumps, then waited like about an hour to see the consistency. And it was still a bit thin, so we added some more in the same proportions and we waited around 24 hours and it was a consistency that was okay. So you might want to play around with this until you reach a consistency that you would like but always ensure to wait because if you add too much then it will become very thick and that's not always apparent when you just added the xanthan gum. So now we're adding our preservative of choice, which is Liquid Dermal Plus. And we added five grams of that. That's the end of the video guys, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and tune in next Friday to see what DIY we come up with next. Thanks for watching, bye!